Welcome to today's video. I'm Gary Buryawan and we are now in Bukit Menoreh area in Kulon Progo, Yogyakarta, Indonesia and we're here to have a little bit of photography time as usual. This is part of my everyday photography vlog. You can check out my other vlogs right here on the card above. You can watch all of my other videos. So basically this is about photography exercise for me. So I'm trying to squeeze a little bit of time, not every day, but as often as I can for my photography. So I'm trying to explore new locations, trying to find compositions in difficult locations, that kind of stuff. So yeah, sometimes it's going to be challenging and I'm not going to come up with good picture, but sometimes like today, uh, the view is really beautiful so it's actually quite easy for me to find a good composition and good pictures so yeah i'm keeping everything very simple today i'm just using two lenses and one camera this is my camera right here the panasonic gx85 and for the lens i brought this guy right here i don't really use this lens that much for everyday photography but this is the panasonic leica 15 millimeter f1.7 usually you will see me using this lens for youtube videos for when i'm doing talking headshots on my studio but now i'm taking it out and using it for photography so yeah it's going to be exciting and one more lens as usual is my telephoto lens my favorite lens right now the panasonic 35 to 100 millimeter f4 to f5.6 so with those two lens i'm able to cover both semi wide angle shots as well as telephoto shots for those compression of the heels to get really nice tight landscape shots that i really love these days so yeah those are all the gifts now let's try to find some composition in this beautiful location all right so our first composition will be off this road right here i don't want to stay here too long because it's actually a road where motorcycles will pass through and that's just dangerous so i'm gonna keep it quick uh camera as i explained the gx85 right now i'm using the panasonic leica 15 millimeter f1.7 and just this road right at the middle and then i'm trying to get the hills menorah hills as sort of the background so 15 millimeter i'm at f2.8 right now i'm going to switch to f4 just to get more things in focus aperture priority on my camera auto iso right now and yeah shutter speed of course it's going to be auto as well so yes i'm going to stand on the middle of the road right now let's try to take the composition i'm focusing somewhere down the road so i hope you can see what i'm doing on the camera very simple composition yep i'm going to take some pictures now i'm going to try vertical just to get some different kinds of uh, orientation with more road with less road all right all right so this will be my second composition for the day so i found this nice little plant area right here uh, on which i want to try to use this plant area these flowers as sort of a foreground for the hills as the background so yeah still with the 15 millimeter right now i'm going to switch lens later but right now i'm just trying to use the 15 millimeter more because i just love this little lens i forgot how great this lens is especially for scenery photography like this when you don't really need that wide of an angle but still wide enough to cover everything inside your frame okay so because i will try to cover not only the background but also the foreground then i'm going to try to use my uh focus bracketing we'll see if it works but right now i'm at f5 points am i going to switch to f8 just to get more depth of field let's try the flowers first something like this i'm going to just focus on one flower okay something like that now i'm going to turn off my focus bracket and just try to uh, use f8 as sort of the uh, aperture all right something like this i hope you can see what i'm doing on the camera very nice very simple i don't need that much of the sky today because it's actually cloudy so yeah even with f8 i still get plenty of shutter speed so i'm not really too worried oh yeah actually it's in focus anyway so i'm going to try to just focus on the hills so i'm not going to use the flowers because it's quite distracting so i'm switching to f2.8 right now something like this i like the paddy field as sort of the uh, mid ground and right there you can see some formations of tree i want to try to capture that as well so something like this let's try one of the leaves are just sticking out on the frame but just trying to adjust as needed okay something like this yep yep 
all right all right so i'm switching lens you already know what this guy is this is the panasonic lumix 35 to 100 millimeter f4 to f5.6 oh excuse me there's some bucks it's actually my favorite telephoto lens as you already know from most of my vlogs i always try to use this lens because it's just so handy to have a telephoto lens to photograph sceneries like this to try to focus on just certain parts of the image so right now i'm interested in getting a uh, compression shot of those three formation right there as you can see where i'm pointing at and using the hills as sort of the background so we're going to try it and just do that so i'm aperture priority f5.6 maybe f8 let's try f8 i want to try to get more depth of field and just more things in focus something like this very simple hope you can see what i'm doing on the camera trying to get that tree formation in the middle as sort of a uh, mid-ground sort of the uh, focusing point i'm at 35 millimeter right now let's try oh sorry there's some bugs it's actually <laughs> lots of bugs and insects i'm actually trying to go vertical now the sun is coming out and i'm trying to get a more focused shot right here right looks nice let's try that area right there again uh, where the original tree formation that i photographed earlier all right something like this is lots of elements i want to try to get a more simplistic composition something like this maybe the intersection between the two hills or maybe that area right there with houses let's try that one first the one on the right something like this very simple composition i'm not quite liking it yet maybe because there's not enough trees let's try from here all right something like this maybe yeah just by walking just a little bit down the uh, paddy field i can find some interesting composition so i decided i like the one on the left better let's go ahead and capture that zoom in a little bit this is about 60 millimeter let's try to include the palm tree on the left maybe it will add something to the image we'll try something like that i hope you can see what i'm doing on the camera yeah very simple right i'm going to be really quick i'm going to try to capture those people on the motorcycle <laughs> this is actually illegal don't do this kids don't do this people don't uh, try to do what i'm doing yeah i'm with the 35 to 100 i think i already got the picture that was 60 or 70 millimeter f8 i'm quite happy with the result there's one more motorcycle right there i think it's going to make a nice photograph sort of like a street photography but it's not I'm gonna wait until uh, they come closer this is 100 millimeter f5.6 i'm using the hill as sort of the background yeah this looks really nice yeah i only got a few seconds left before i have to move away from the road okay all right so i'm going to try to take a more peaceful kind of photograph without having to try to stand in between a motorcycle on the road so yeah just the, those three formation right in the middle with the hills as sort of a background something more simple something more uh, kind of you know minimalist f5.6 60 millimeter i'm using the road as sort of leading line into the hills and into the trees something like this is what i really want nothing too complicated i'm focusing on the trees and i'm hoping to be able to recover the details on the hills later on post processing all right that looks kind of nice let's try to take just the hills i'm trying to get a more minimalist kind of image right here but i'm st still trying to use certain foregrounds like this plants right here it might work it might not work we're just gonna have to try something like this maybe yeah anyway this is Bukit Menore so this is the western part of Yogyakarta city I'm not going to use the foreground by the way yeah it's the uh, western part of Yogyakarta city it's not really explored that much but I think this is a nice place for like trying to find nature when you are in Yogyakarta area yeah I'm not quite happy with the result but yeah I'm going to try to find something else
wraps up today's video so that is all for today's video i hope that today's video has been useful informative and inspiring for you makes you want to go out and try to photograph something today yeah that's the whole point of the everyday photography challenge and yeah as i mentioned earlier you might want to watch my other vlogs i will put the link on the description as well so that you can watch my other vlogs so yeah also don't forget to support my channel by liking this video sharing this video subscribing to my channel down below and use my affiliate links i will also put down below as well thank you and see you on the next video